Again, you don't have to have the book. All right? Got it? And what you'll need to do is have a low and a high. So if you mask out, let's say 20, 25 is your problem frequency, you get a little shimmy there, you'll want to say low limit is 24, high limit is 26, unless you've got a little bit wider spread that it's the problem is you want to be surrounding that problem, mask out. And again, you can have up to three of those prohibit frequencies. We're pretty good here. So you said you wanted two out of them, right? All right. So this is the low limit. Mm -hmm. Okay, hit enter. All right, back up. Back up to you know where you can go to the high limit, range That's one high limit. edit and then go above 24. All right, and what he's done is he has effectively masked out the problem parameter. Again, all he had to do is make sure he was at the beginning. He wanted to tweak a parameter, so he went to parameters. He wanted to mask out a frequency, so he scrolled down within parameters to prohibit frequency. And went to high and low, put in the data, he's effectively masked out the, the frequency. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right, so if we go back to monitor and turn this all the way down, what we'll see is the bottom frequency is 20 hertz. That's, that's a pretty good minimum to run it. Now there may be times when you want to not go below 30 hertz or, or whatever. That's easily changed also. But if you increase your A1 signal, which is your 0 to 10 volt DC signal, just barely increase it, you'll notice that the frequency is rising. If you just bump it up, and you hit that 24, you'll notice it'll stay there on the output of 24. You raise it a little more, it doesn't raise. Raise it a little more, it stays at 24. Raise it a little more, it stays at 24. Then when you get beyond that masked frequency, then it'll pick up and start ramping up. Make sense? How many of you realized how easy a frequency drive was? They're really quite simple now. With the built-in wizards and clear language display, it's no big deal. Had a quick story, then I'll let you go. And those of you who want to leave, find you got things to do. Those of you that want to stay, will actually hook up the T775M to this, get it working. I had a fellow that uh, had a data center that uh, needed a new cooling tower. On that cooling tower, they wanted to control the uh, fan by a temperature controller. Standalone control. It's a weekend job. He got two frequency drives, two temperature controllers. He had never commissioned a frequency drive. I coached him, told him what he needed to do, it's no big deal. He says, but I want you to be available because you may need to come up here and bail me out. And it, you know, we'll be doing the controls on Sunday. I said, that's fine. If you need me, I'll come. But I promise you, you won't need me. Well, he, he's, he's not believing me because I keep telling him it's easy. You can handle it. Just do this, this, and this. He's not believing me, but he's not telling me he's not believing me. He's trying to be nice about it. He calls me up Sunday. Tim, I need your help. I, I, I just, I can't understand this book. He says, on page, I said, Wes, hang on just a second. Put the book down. Look at the drive. Is it powered up? Yeah, yeah, it's powered up. Look at the drive and do what it tells you to do. Well, but see, I, on page, Wes, 
put the book down. He put the book down. He looked at the display. The display told him what to do. Five minutes, he had two of these programmed, ready to go. I, I met him uh, the next day just to go up and, and kind of bless what he had done. E everything was right. I showed him a few little other features, just kind of walked through the menus and all that, just made him feel real comfortable with it. And he said, Tim, you kept telling me how easy it was, and I just didn't believe you because you're a salesman. <laughs> and you know you know how to do it. If you know how to do something, again, brain surgery is easy if you know how to do it. He said he just wouldn't believe how easy it was. And he says, it really is easy. Uh, we have a nice uh, website. We've got two of them. One is... Stromquist.com and the other is ControlTrends.com uh, Stromquist.com is real handy if you need to identify a part if you log in you can actually see your price and availability it's really handy that's on Stromquist.com on ControlTrends.com that is more of an information forum uh, good topics, there's training videos. Uh, on this, on the front page, there's actually a video of the guy, Wes, I was just telling you, where you can click on it, it's just about a one minute thing, and you can see Wes speaking, I videoed him, and he's kind of telling the story. Um, <laughs> There's also training videos on how to set it up, going through exactly what you did, and I appreciate your help, by the way. Uh, frequency drives. They're more common nowadays. If you haven't seen them, you will. They used to be complicated. They used to be expensive. Now they're not. They're very simple, very easy to, uh, to start up. Clear language display. What used to be a mysterious little box now is no big deal. So I encourage you, if you, have, if you ever need a, a, a frequency drive or have a question, give us a call. We'll be glad to help you out. Any questions? Okay. Dismissed, and those of you that want to stay, we'll hook up this uh, T775M to it. Have a little fun. If you need to control it or measure it, Stromquist and Company has a control solution for you. With over $2 million of inventory between our Georgia and Florida locations, an easy to use online ordering platform, same day shipping, and a factory trained team of controls experts to answer your questions, Stromquist and Company continues in its tradition of offering great service and great products.